Welcome back to the Steelers Camp Report, folks. I'm Nick Farabout here from Steelers Now. First day in pads, the pads are popping. Lots of good things to come from today. I think, obviously, George Pickens with the viral moment, the one-handed catch. He dominated practice, running a full route tree now. I like to see that from George Pickens. I just think he looks better this year in terms of route running. He has a little bit more shake and bake. He's kind of reading zones better, dropping in the soft spots of those zones. He looks just more polished. He looks like a year two player you would expect. I think Joey Porter Jr. on the flip side of that is really promising as a rookie. He's got that length. He's got better long speed than you would expect he's a guy that is really kind of maturing with the challenges he's being faced and I think doing a really nice job because he bounced back right after that in a team period got a pick he just looks really solid for where he's at right now I think the big takeaway from today though is big number 80 Darnell Washington this guy in backs on backers gets TJ Watt twice and wins both of those convincing first one he just kind of walls off Watt second one Watt tries to come back with his power moves and he just anchors down TJ Watt was I think kind of stunned by it but when you're that big and you are having that reputation that's the type of guy you need to be obviously he did lose to Highsmith and Nick Herbig, Nick Herbig, another guy who I just think has come out blazing the trail here at training camp. He looks awesome as a pass rusher. He's just so polished as a pass rusher. He has multiple moves. He has the plan. It's just how does he hold up in run periods. But overall, this was a, a pretty solid day. Obviously, Corey Trice gets hurt as well. That's a bad thing for the Steelers. It's a non-contact knee injury is what Mike Tomlin said. That's not good news. It's on his right side. That's not the ACL side for what it's worth. When he suffered in 2021, it was his left ACL, not his right. Um, but we will see, obviously, what the severity of that injury is. But went off on a cart. That hurts the corner depth. I'm going to put out a prediction right now. I think they're going to end up signing a significant name cornerback at this point because of Trice's injury. And I think they just needed some more depth, whether that's the slot or outside. I think they need someone in that corner room still. So I think they're going to end up signing someone there. But training camp today, good day for a lot of guys. Good growth for the rookies. Kenny Pickett looked pretty solid again today as well for your daily Kenny Pickett update. Nick Farabaugh, this is the Steelers Camp Report. Make sure to subscribe to Steelers Now. Check out more at SteelersNow.com.